Alright folks, welcome back. It's Pitching Ace 88 and we're back playing Dragon Age Origins. It has been a little bit of time since you guys last see me. Had some crazy stuff happen in my life. Ended up actually getting a new job. Which requires quite a bit of my time. So again, I apologize for you guys who may have been waiting for this. Um, I have been able to do a little bit more of the casual gaming, but the hardcore gaming has slipped a little bit. Uh, the job has gotten a little There's bit... There's word of darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. May the Maker have mercy on us. Sir Bryant, we've heard about him. But, as a quick... Hush, Charlie. As a quick little just summary, got a new job, takes a little bit of my time. Um, I basically have to be on call 24-7, which only equates to them calling me about once a week at, in the middle of the night, but it's not too bad. Yes? Who might you be? Uh, I am the Grey Warden Ace. I see. I am Sarah Bryant, commander of the Lothering Templars. Tan Logain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. You know this, I hope. I've heard the rumors. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though. Just in case. Well, are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry, and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. And if you, find, if you found an unsanctioned mage? Let us pretend that I was such a mage. What would you do to me? Hmm? Oh, I have no time to even think about such things <laughs> right now. My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. Oh, I like that, I like that. Are you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Logain, and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Oh, wow. Well, anyways, um, where would I be able to find the revered mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Alright, well I should go. Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. Nothing after Morgan. Perfect. Perfect. Templar. Have I said how much I absolutely like love this game? Like, just just the sheer look of it. It's fantastic. Who? I beg your pardon. I did not see you approach. Sir Donald? Is that you? Alistair? By the maker, how are you? I I was certain you were dead. Not yet. No thanks to turn Loghain. If Arl Eamon were well, he'd set Loghain straight soon enough. If he were well? W what, what do you mean? The Arl is stricken with an illness that threatens his life. We have found no cure, either natural or magical. When did this happen? Only a few weeks ago, but he has declined quickly. No one knows the nature of the illness, and even magic has done little to slow its progress. Our only hope now is a miracle. Every knight of Redcliffe has gone in search of the urn of sacred ashes. Andraste's ashes are said to cure any illness. But I fear we are chasing a fable. With each day, my hope dims. That's interesting. Why is he all of a sudden ill? Because I was hoping to meet him. Why is that, if I may ask? We, we will need his help against Terran and Loghain. I see. The Arl is a popular man, it's true. Tan Loghain, however, is a hero throughout Ferelden. Whatever the yeah, Tan right. has done or not done, the Arl remains ill or worse. That is my primary concern. Alright, well is there any point in going to Redcliffe? He may be dead already. Or perhaps his luck has changed in the weeks I have been gone. We should see what's happening in Redcliffe ourselves. I believe that now more than ever. If nothing else, I am certain you would be welcomed at Castle Redcliffe. The Arlesser is there, and she could tell you more than I could. All right. Um, so your quest for the ashes brought you here? I expected to take advantage of the Chantry's library, in fact. 
but my skills are better suited to battle than chasing down tails. That's probably true. So what, tell me more about this urn of sacred ashes. Supposedly, the urn contains the ashes of the prophetess Andraste. Surely you know all this. Oh, of course, but I just, I'd like to hear what you've learned. If you're truly interested, there are books here containing a great deal of lore. Nothing I have found leads me to believe that this was anything more than a quest of desperation. I intend to return to Redcliffe soon and tell the Arlesa exactly that once Sir Henrik arrives. Well, who's Sir Henrik? My fellow knight and traveling companion. He is delayed, though. Uh. Well, your Sir Henrik is dead. I have something of his. What? And you have his locket? And a note? Maker's mercy. Thank you for giving me these. I would never have known otherwise. I'm sorry about your friend. Thank you. I wonder how many of us have met similar fates on this mad quest. Yeah, I know. I should go. With Henrik gone, I need to return to Redcliffe. Perhaps later I will seek out the scholar his note mentions. But I must go. Thank you again, good sir. You have been most helpful. New codex. The sacred... Ooh, quest completed. Codex updated. Alright, well, I'm not big on reading. And when the Maker spoke, a chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word dispelled fear and ignorance. Fools. Let those who Praying cry out for help from the shadows come. They burned, and those a god who has turned his back okay, on them not once, She's there. but twice. Okay. Well, before we go and in there... And when the chant spreads across all four corners of the world... Make sure there's nothing over here. Oh, 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 oh. Codex updated. It has begun. Insufficient skill. And none of you guys are rogues, are you? Oh, man. I hope I get a rogue soon. Let all mankind be humbled. Shut Let up. all repeat the chant you. of light. Only the word dispels the darkness. Will you be making a donation to the chantry, my friend? You look like you have salvaged more of value than most who make it here. What tithe is acceptable? Might I suggest 30 silver? Very well. 30 silver it is. Thank you, my son. What can I do for you then? I'm a Grey Warden and I need your help. A Grey Warden? Here? Oh dear. You put me in a difficult position. You must know that Tern Loghain declared the Grey Wardens to be outlaws. Yeah, but I tried to bribe you. So I've heard, but it is Loghain who betrayed the king. Tern Loghain? That is as hard for me to believe as his condemnation of the Wardens. There is a price on your head. Lay low, and I promise to keep your presence a secret. That is the best I can do. Now, if there is nothing else... Can you provide any help to the Grey Wardens at all? I cannot help you without risking the safety of this village enchantry. The best I can do is keep your presence a secret. I am sorry. Now, if there is nothing well, else... You know what? Let's get, a, let's get her blessing. For a Grey Warden? Yes. You have a difficult road to walk, don't you? In Andraste's name, I call upon the Maker to watch over his child and creation. Watch over his path, O Maker. Give him light in darkness. So let it be. Now, if there is nothing else... I think I should go now. May the Maker guard you, Grey Warden. Alright. Well, we lost 30 silver, which was unfortunate. But it's okay, I'll steal... I'll steal it back, I'm sure. Oh, it's a door. But those who have sinned... Alright, so we did complete one little mini-quest. It's time for us to go to this, uh, rest of the city. Hopefully search it some more. I have been reading in the comments down below about what I should do here. Mama! Although... Yeah? Have you seen my mother? Oh, what an accent. Have you seen my mother? You poor thing, did your mother and you get separated? Some mean men with swords came, 
and mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could, so I did. She said she'd be right behind me, but I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. If he said mummy, and by the way it will be a Doctor Who reference for some of you guys, it creeps the living crap out of me. Um, well do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbours yesterday, but he didn't come back. Come with me, I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Uh, go to the Chantry, ch or here, take this silver, buy something to eat. A whole silver! Wow, thank you. So, um... You're a dwarf, aren't you? Well, yes. Why do you ask? Father says dwarves are really greedy, but you're not greedy at all. Thank you for helping me. Thank you, little kid. Glad I could help. Robbed a woman. I don't like this place. Why did we come? Greetings, Sir Dwarf. Your folk are famous for their generosity. Might you spare some bread? Well, what happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering. That the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares about a few elves. Can you help us? Well, of course. I, I like elves. I met those bandits. They're dead now. You killed them? That's wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. Well, there you go. There you go. I'm not really getting any experience for any of this stuff. So, I'm not too thrilled about that. I wish I got some stuff. Ooh. Take all. I like the sound of chain mail. I have a wonder, Alistair, if you will indulge me. Do I have a choice? Of the two this. of you that remain, are you not the senior Grey Warden here? I find it curious that you allow another to lead while you follow. Oh, you snap! You find that curious, do you? In fact, you defer to a new recruit. Is this the policy of the Grey Wardens, or simply a personal one? What do you want to hear? That I prefer to follow? I do. You sound so very defensive. Couldn't you crawl into a bush somewhere and die? That would be great, thanks. That's fantastic. Their bantering is amazing. Um, for the record, I'm not really sure where I'm going here. Just kind of walking around. You ate my entire bag of herbs, you foolish dog. Do not think I am unaware of where it went. <laughs> it is your own fault for being so entirely gluttonous. Several of those herbs were poisonous. You should be pleased they did not kill you. Yo, yeah, what's up? Do not be ridiculous. I am certainly not going to give you more, even if I did have more to give. <laughs> well, you have some nerve, creature. And your breath leaves much to be desired. Off you go. Oh, what's up, Charlie? <laughs> Anyways, did you see anything? Oh. Brought me an item. Awesome. I wanna I wanna pet him. He seems so adorable. Oh, look at you, Charlie. So cute. Alright. Anyways. Allison. Oh, you seem important. Let me loot from you first, though. <laughs> uh, nope, 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 nope. Let's talk to you. Hello, uh, stranger. I don't suppose you know anyone that can make traps. Crap. What do you need traps for? Old man Barlin said that Darkspawn may be coming soon. He's got traps on his farm. I figured... I put a few on my lands. Barlin wants to poison his traps. I just want normal traps. Barlin has poison traps on his land? 
Oh, he doesn't have any poison yet, thank the Maker. So his fields are just full of traps. He can be a bit eccentric. Well, why don't you just buy some? None to be had. Balin has all the traps in the village in his fields. Sorry, I can't make traps. I, I didn't mean to bother you. Sorry. Lothering doesn't have any more beds for refugees, but they keep coming. Oh, well that sucks. Can I not talk to her? Look, I hope more soldiers make it out of Ostagar. Oh, well that's BS. We're saving the game then before we talk to these people. You got a bed for the night. You taken care of. <laughs> What's going on here? Ever since good King Kalen passed, refugees and soldiers have been passing through. I'm the elder here, and I've my hands full making sure refugees don't turn to petty theft or worse. <laughs> Sir Bryant at the Chantry is seen to matters of defense and such. He'd have more of an ear for your type. Too much to do. And not enough time. Well, do you need any help? I don't suppose you know anything of tonics, medicines, or herbs. I don't, but my friend does. Then you may be able to do us a lot of good. All manner of travellers come through, many injured or sick. We do our best, but we're out of supplies. There's medicinal herbs in the woods to the north. If you make a few poultices, I'll scrape together some sort of payment. I'll write all you need to know in this note here. Oh, perfect. Learn a little bit about plant making, or I mean potion making from plants. Right, is there anything here? You're just a refugee. Very well. Pile of filth. Nice. It's got quartz. I'll take it. It has begun. Okay, it looks like I can't really get into any houses around here. Minor. Is it minor or not minor? Well, let's, uh, anybody over here have a name? A helpful refugee. You might not want to go in. Tavern's full, and those soldiers are being a nuisance. Why is the tavern full? Same reason the chantry's full, packed with people who fled their homes. The tavern keeper's letting folks sleep on the floors, but he can only fit so many. And those soldiers are getting restless. All right, tell me about these soldiers. They're not here to defend us. They were looking for someone before they started drinking. I hear they almost killed a man because they didn't like his face. I wonder if they're deserters from the King's army. Oh, wow. Well, you seem unhappy. Is there any reason to be happy? With the King dead, them Darkspawn will overrun Lothering before anyone can organize. You'd think those soldiers could at least run off the bandits. I hear someone gave them what they deserved. It wasn't you, was it? Uh, yeah, that was me. It was? Hey, everyone! Oh, great. This is the one who drove out those thieving bastards! More will probably come, but it's good to know some justice is left here. Thank you. Oh, cool. What's up, dude? Yeah, so much for keeping too much of a low profile. But, um... Did you speak to that knight yesterday? Said he was from Redcliffe. He talked to everyone in the tavern. How are we supposed to know where the urn of sacred ashes is? Might as well ask us how to get to the moon. He said that all the Redcliffe Knights were looking for it, as if they didn't have anything better to do. I don't get it. Yeah, we're gonna say this because he said that there's people here, and it looks like they were. Lo I'm assuming they were looking for me. I could be well, wrong. Look what we have here, men. So, I yep. think we've just been blessed. Uh oh. Low gains, men. This can't be good. Didn't we spend all morning asking about a dwarf by this very description? And everyone said they hadn't seen one. It seems we were lied to. Gentlemen, surely there's no need for Ooh. trouble. These are no doubt simply more poor souls seeking refuge. They're more than that. Now stay out of our way, sister. You protect these traitors, you'll get the same as them. What makes you think we're traitors? Tern Logan claims the Grey Wardens betrayed the King. Or haven't you heard? Enough talk! Take the Warden into custody. Kill the sister and anyone else that gets what? in your way. Right. Let's make this quick. Uh, that ain't happening, buddy. Okay. Uh... 
Oh! She's part of our team. I've heard of her. Liliana. I don't remember if she's a rogue or not. I, th I thought she was a mage. Oh, you know what? She's got a little knife. She might be our rogue. I was just talking about needing a rogue. Okay, we're gonna switch to him. And let's go. Let's do this. Knock him down. Take him down. We're I mean, we're like okay, okay. Done with like you now. One. We surrender. Good. They've learned their lesson and we can all stop fighting now. I like how they they are absolutely clean and we're all bloody. That's pretty cool. The Grey Wardens didn't betray King Kaelin. Logan did. I was there. The turn pulled us out of a trap. Let's see. The Tarn left the king to die. The Wardens led the king to his death. The Tarn could do nothing! Turn. Take a message to Loghain. W what do you want to tell him? The Grey Wardens know what really happened. I'll tell him right away. Now, thank you. I apologize for interfering, but I couldn't just sit by and not help. Well, ha and how are you, lovely lady? Let me introduce myself. I am Liliana, one of the lay sisters of the Chantry here in Lothring. Oh, I was. Um, well, what does that mean? Oh, I'm Ace. A pleasure. Those men said you're a Grey Warden. You will be battling the Darkspawn, yes? That is what Grey Wardens do. I know after what happened, you will need all the help you can get. That's why I'm coming along. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you so eager to come with me? The Maker told me to. Oh, so the Maker's on my side. Well, welcome aboard. Then, you believe me? <gasps> I knew the Maker had sent a true dream. A vision that by serving you, I serve his holy plan. Perhaps your skull was cracked worse than Mother thought. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate being given this chance. I will not let you down. Okay, well, although I do love Charlie, um... Again, he doesn't do too much for me, so... Indeed. We're gonna put her in it. So sorry, buddy. Also, because I believe... Yes? Well, what do you know of this place? Blow the ring? I think it started as a settlement by the river, and then grew when it became the place where two roads met. There are always people in Lothering, but many are just passing through. Alright. Yes? Um, I'd like to talk. Well, here I am. Let's see, that vision of yours... I knew this would come up sooner or later. I don't know how to explain, but I had a dream. In it, there was an impenetrable darkness. It was so dense, so real. And there was a noise, a terrible, ungodly noise. I stood on a peak and watched as the darkness consumed everything. And when the storm swallowed the last of the sun's light, I... I fell. And the darkness drew me in. Wow. Well, if it was a dream, why say it's a vision? I have had dreams. This was different somehow. When I woke, I went to the Chantry's gardens, as I always do. But that day, the rose bush in the corner had flowered. Everyone knew that bush was dead. It was grey and twisted and gnarled, the ugliest thing you ever saw. But there it was, a single beautiful rose. It was as though the Maker stretched out his hand to say, even in the midst of this darkness, there is hope and beauty. Have faith. And that's what make, made you want to help me? In my dream, I fell. Or, or maybe I jumped. I'd do anything to stop the blight. I know that we can do it. There are so many good things in the Maker's world. How can I sit by while the blight devours everything? She has kind of a French accent, but it's kind of muddled, I think. I don't know, somebody tell me what her accent is. I can't, I can't tell. The Chantry Trees, though, says the Maker has left us. He's still here. I hear him in the wind and the waves. I feel him in the sunlight that warms my skin. I know what the Chantry says about the Maker, and what should I believe? What I feel in my heart, 
or what others tell me. Believe what feels right to you, Liliana. Thank you. It's nice to find someone who agrees. I know what I know, and no one will ever make that untrue. Do I have her on my side. Ooh, Barlin, you seem important. A bard. I'm sure he's probably hilarious. Can I actually talk to him? Please, I must continue playing, else I earn no coin tonight. Alright, fine. But anyways, uh, I believe before we talk to this guy, I will wrap this up. This has been Pitching Ace 88. We just picked up Liliana. See you guys all later. Over and out.